We begin here at 5 with breaking news. Israel announcing a ceasefire after nearly two weeks of fighting Hamas militants in Gaza. CBS 2's Dick Brennan tells us that more than 200 people have been killed, including civilians. He's here with the latest. Dick? Yeah, Christine and Maurice, the ceasefire takes effect on Friday morning, but the Israeli Prime Minister's office said that the reality on the ground will determine the continuation of the campaign. And even as the announcement was being made, sirens were going off in Israeli communities, signaling more rocket attacks. We've now held more than 80 engagements uh, with senior leaders in Israel, the Palestinian Authority, and across the region, either in person or by phone. International pressure built on the Israeli government, including from the White House, going into the 11th day of hostilities. President Biden urged Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to have a significant de-escalation. The Prime Minister said Israel would stop when it had achieved its objectives. Israeli airstrikes have killed more than 200 Palestinians, including dozens of children. Hamas has launched 4,000 rockets into Israel, and Israel says it's been targeting Hamas militants who are responsible. But many, including this 14-year-old Gaza resident, Amiri Aslim, have been caught in the crossfire. She says, we were in the living room when the missile hit. There was a lot of smoke, and we didn't see anything. Amiri is one of many who have survived the attacks, while other Gaza families put their children to bed amidst the sounds of the blasts. Fear is a feeling that is shared across the border by 10-year-old Israeli Renana Botsar Suisa, who has been terrified by the rocket attacks by Gaza militants. It's very scary. I need all the time to be prepared to run to my room that is the safe room in my house. And despite pressure for the ceasefire, many Israelis are said to support continued attacks. 80% of Israelis are against the ceasefire, believe it or not, because uh, they don't want to go back to the status quo which enables Hamas to rebuild its military infrastructure, to replenish its missile arsenal, and have to go through this again every couple of years. On the Israeli side, 12 people have been killed, including two children. Not all ceasefires have held. One fell apart after the 2014 war. Maurice and Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.